Also, just for um, context, guys, as the time at the time I'm recording this, I am able to stay up all night. And so what I'm probably going to do is, um, I'm probably going to do a lot of exploring because I don't want to talk too much because my brother has to get up early and my parents have to get up early. Um, and since I'm able to stay up all night, this is the perfect game to do it because I'm not going to be talking much. I'll be talking now and then, but I'll just basically be showing you guys the viewpoints, the funny moments, the whatever, um, the big moments, not the repetitive moments. Um, I've already edited what I've recorded before this, and so you guys, I have an idea of what I'm showing you guys now, and to be fair, it was a lot. Um, I recorded maybe two and a half hours going through, um, what was it, what was it called again? Like, I think it took me an hour and a half to go through all of this area, and then it's taking me about an hour to get up to where I'm up to now. And I think I've got all the viewpoints, and there's just a bit more stuff I need to explore, like these areas. And then there's two golden areas in the middle. And then after this area as well, I've done all of the isolated desert. So it's going to take me maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours to go through this whole thing. So those two and a half hours that I recorded, I cut them down to 27 minutes, which I'm very impressed of. So, basically what you guys can expect is, depending how big the area is, you can expect a single explorative episode to cover two areas, at least. Or at most, because this area, look, this area over here looks pretty big. <laughs> um, but I like how I've edited it out, hopefully you guys have as well. But basically what this means is, um, since I'm staying up all night, I would be doing a lot of exploring. So, while I do want to get into the main story, um... Um, I'm not sure how long, how much episodes it will be, but the next few parts of this series will basically just be me exploring area upon area. And after the isolated desert, I'll be moving on to Giza. And then after Giza, we've explored everywhere that we've unlocked, and I'll basically be going in order of level. So, I'll figure that out later. For now, we've got a stone circle. Talk to this girl you like. I didn't say I liked her. We were friends, but she's being strange and avoiding me. Maybe because she likes you too. We often do not say what we mean. It will come to you in bursts. Why would she avoid me if she likes me? This you understand very little. Mother should explain. I am better with the stars. The goldfish. Called Capricornus by the Greeks. The god has the head of a ram and the body of a fish. You see? Even the gods do not always make sense. There we go. The goatfish.
Wonderful. I expect enemies to be here, but there's no one. So I'm a little worried about going to this one, because this one seems to be... Well... A mix. I'll go to it, but I'm not going to explore it, because I don't want to unlock the next area yet until I do Kiza. It seems to be a camp. Whoa. Yep. Camp Dory. Well, I'm fine. Wow, killing these tough enemies only gets me 23 XP. The wind rises, and the sand with it. Also, just to let you guys know, um, I've turned it down so you won't be able to hear it through my mic. But I'm listening to YouTube videos while I'm doing this grinding, so the moments where I do show viewpoints and do show things, I'm gonna hope to God that it doesn't come through my mic because I don't want copyright strikes from other YouTube videos being heard. <laughs> Another location Theos Elpis Rift. Rebel's journey. My fight against the regime is over. <coughs> this chest held more drachmas than none you existed. I can start anew. Go somewhere else. Be somebody else. Am I a bad person? I have abandoned my brothers. You who read this, what would you have done? If you were a fighter deep down, take my weapon and it has served me well, but I will never yield it again. But okay, man. I'll take it. This traveler went off path, perhaps to save time. Looks like he came across hyenas, yes. And I'm probably gonna die here. The traveler went off path here, and he died. Just like I'm about to die. Whoa. What? Golden tomb. What? What the fuck? This is creepy. Hang on. Sano, I need you. I need you to find some kind of tomb. Okay, so there's six. Now I'm gonna assume this is gonna by, go by normal Assassin's Creed rules, that you don't just get ambushed by enemies, that you'll only face enemies if they're in camps or stuff like that. Oh, this is just puzzles. Interesting. I like this. Oh, here's a looting one.
We are the Watchers of Thoth, Lord of Right and Truth, the Shining One. We willingly follow our crown, Prince Almos Ark, into the lo next life to record its radiance. We are honored to be chosen. Okay. Ooh, that was cool. Child of the moon, we honor you. Child of the moon, we mourn for you. Child of the moon, we follow you and go willingly to do it. Do what? What's around here? Scepter. A oh, spear, I mean. Heavy blown weapon. Another one of those, I don't know the names. Activate the ancient mechanism. Mahapa, beloved of he who rises up, nomarch and prince of Egypt, leader of the people, may he guide the servant who willingly joins him, and may his servant bask his benevolence. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. I really like that you get one skill point for those. So where does this lead? Ah, uh, it leads outside.
So what does it mean, mechanism? Whoa! This is totally from the ones who came before. It has to be. Isn't that picking it up? Boom. Okay. I think that's all I can pick up. Let's see what this place is like. Oh, I needed to place five of these into there. That's why they were so sort of scattered over the place. Retransmission. Segment one. Acquiring contemporary aid. It has been 91 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. How real is the ground you walk on? How real is the machine you toy with? The music you hear, the lover you kiss, or the foe you hate? Your foot taps the ground. Does that make it real? Your enemies bleed deep red. Does that make them real? The confusion growing within you due to my words. Does it make you real? What if reality wasn't what you thought it was? What if this was all a construction? A masterfully crafted simulation? You know such things exist. You've been in the Animus before. In fact, aren't you in one right now? You know just how real a simulation can feel, even when it has long vanished. You've experienced the bleeding effect. Layers upon layers of reality, each blurring into the next. Which is real and which is not? What if none are real? What if everything you know is false? We ran thousands of simulations, searching for the right version, searching for Desmond. Ooh. Each one of them felt real. Very real. But there's no way of truly knowing, is there? Not for sure. Anything can be simulated, and finding the answer could mean erasure from the build, from the code, from everything. So much to ponder and so little computational capacity. Take your time. This question has haunted humanity since its creation. It is a worry, a thought wormed deep in the collective mind. Two thousand years ago, Zhuang Zhu fell asleep. He dreamed he was a butterfly and woke up unable to decide if he was a man dreaming of a butterfly or a butterfly dreaming of a man. In Plato's cave, prisoners were chained and forced to watch shadows dancing on a wall. Freedom was denied to them until they accepted the intangible as reality. It's everywhere. Ask this professor at Oxford University or this cosmologist at MIT. And you? What would you choose if you truly knew? Would you even want to understand? A dream within a dream where even the truth is sometimes a lie. In any case, simulations are not meaningless. They have purpose. 
The question isn't whether or not you are in a simulation. What matters is how much of your free will is actually yours. No matter how true you are. Your Turing test would do nothing to determine whether you are a conscience or a code. Eliza, the natural language processing computer program, she managed to pass the test, did she not? And she was very much a machine. So, in Eliza's own words, how does that make you feel? Are you sure? They just referenced Eliza, the AI thing like Alexa. That's funny. That's interesting. What was that? What was that? I'm so confused to what that was. On ma nia resort. What was that? I don't even know. That's... okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I didn't even expect to run into something like that. Well, that's all of the Icelandic desert. Um, I'm going to move on to Giza now. Giza isn't as big. As the isolated desert, I believe. Uh, slightly. Um, there is... I've already done this fast travel point. Um, is there any more fast travel points? No, there is not. So I'm just going to go around, get all the question marks. Stuff like that. Okay, so Giza is a better level for me. 17 to 20. So I should be good. Honestly, that's probably why the goal like there's a golden question mark right here in front of the pyramid. That's probably another place like this. Maybe. Ah, oh, new papyrus. I haven't seen these in a while. And there's a new golden um golden one here. If you look at it like closely, it looks like it's underneath the whole map because it's moving, but it's not staying in the one spot. It's like it's underneath the whole map. So it's probably the underground thing. Then what's this one? This one seems to be on the one area. Yeah, that's a stone circle. I don't know what they are anymore. Maybe they're both. Oh, maybe you go into the Giza to reach this. The, tem uh, the pyramid, I mean. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Because there was actually two, um, two question marks over here. And they both led to each other. One was a tablet, and then one was activate the machine. Now, once again, these papyrus things can get very complicated, so if I don't find it on my own, I'll be using a guide. In Giza, three pyramids stand tall. From the top of the smaller one, you can see quite a lot, even two mushroom rocks, the smaller of which I lay atop of. Ah, oh, that one's actually pretty easy. Okay. So, this one. I need to go here. Can I just use center? I can just use center to go to the top. I don't have to go there myself. And then I can find out where the mushroom rocks are. And I can find out which one's the smaller one. Easy. Oh, 
Whoa. My camera... Did that get frozen again? My camera was in a weird way and I was looking away for a while. But I don't actually think anything was there. I'll look over my recording later and find out. Now maybe they mean those. Whoa. Yep. Here's another one. Yeah. Is that meant to be Camu? I think it was meant to be Camu. Are we like yeah. in the desert for too long that we're seeing... Um, what are they called again? Illu like, I guess illusions, but... Whoa. There's something specific that you call them in the desert. I forget what the word is, though. Maybe you guys will know what I'm talking about, but he's basically seeing those. Whoa. Oh. A new area. I didn't mean to unlock this. I just came here because of the papyrus. I think it's here. I don't really know... Like, this doesn't really look like a mushroom. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Yeah. Yeah, I was wrong. Fuck. What level is this place? 22 to 25. I can do this area right next. It might be somewhere over here. There it is! Okay, it was a warrior bow. Okay, so it was on here. I guess these look like my mushrooms? This one doesn't. That's what really struck me off. That one does. But, yeah, that was weird. Oh, find the ancient tablets here. That's weird. Yeah. The Great Sphinx. It's smaller than I expected. Oh, this is the Great Sphinx. <laughs> Time to find the high. No. Must first speak to Mered. Polodorus contact. He is a much oh, somewhere in this marketplace. I see. I don't want to do that mission yet, though. So yeah, this is definitely underground, right? Definitely. Is this one also underground? Okay. Is there like an entrance somewhere? Almighty Sphinx, show me the way under! No, fuck you. Fuck you too! 